so today I'm going to share with you how to become a freight agent for under $300. Okay. Now I know that might be hard to believe, but there's a lot of misunderstanding and confusion and misinformation about becoming a freight agent. So I want to dispel that today. I'm going to walk you through some very simple steps on how to do that. Okay. Step number one is you got to get trained, right? If you're new to the industry, or even if you've been a part of the logistics or trucking industry, the freight agent job has a very specific set of skills that you will need to understand. Now, there are a couple ways you can get trained. You can do on the job training. You can get hired as an employee uh, for a brokerage, and you could learn kind of some of the, the skills that way. You could do a classroom type training where they offer trainings where you have to travel and you go sit in a hotel for three or four or five days and you do a, a classroom type setting, or you can do an online training, which is part of what I do with Freight Broker Bootcamp. If you guys are curious about that, just check it out at FreightBrokerBootcamp.com, but you do need to get trained. The cool part is, you know, if you do an online training like Freight Broker Bootcamp, you can get started for you know, that training for get started for a one-time payment of 185 bucks. Now, sometimes those classroom trainings and other trainings are more, they're 500, a thousand, a few thousand dollars, but ultimately you can get trained very, very affordably as opposed to going to college or doing an enormous amount of trade school type stuff. But ultimately, yeah, you can start very, very inexpensive on the training side. Step number two, you got to partner with an established freight broker. Okay. So what I mean by that is a freight broker is someone that is licensed by the FMCSA to broker freight. They are an intermediary between shippers and carriers, okay? So people that produce, manufacture, distribute products and carriers. So they're an intermediary, but they are licensed. There are licensing requirements for freight brokers. The good news is there is no licensing requirements or certifications or specific requirements for freight agents. But as a freight agent, you will operate and work under the umbrella of a licensed freight broker. So you're going to have to find a freight broker that's willing to work with you on a straight commission basis. So freight agents are independent contractors. You're not an employee. You're not on W-2. You will typically get paid between 50 and 70% of the profit on any loads that you move for your shippers. So for example, if you are invoicing a shipper, moving a load for a shipper for $2,000, just a hypothetical, and you pay the carrier $1,700 and there's $300 in gross profit, which is kind of standard for a load like that. If you are an agent, you will get 50 to 70% of that. So you'd get anywhere between 150 and $210 in profit in your pocket as the agent without even being a broker. Now the broker keeps the other part. That's part of the partnership. So the second step is to find and partner with a broker. There's a lot of ways to do that. Um, one of the best ways to do that is to simply check out at freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. So if you're looking to hire a freight agent or a freight broker, you can, as an employer, can go there and post a free job. It's absolutely free. Or if you're looking to become a freight broker or freight agent and working with someone else, you can go there and you can apply. You can search for jobs. You can apply for jobs. You can connect with employers that are hiring. Some of those brokers are going to be requiring experience in a book of business. Many of them will not be requiring that. Okay. So we put together, to my knowledge, is the only freight broker and freight agent exclusive job board. We've had it for the last year or two. Uh, we've had rave reviews. We've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students that have went through and have went on to develop higher brokers as well as become agents through that resource. So you guys can check that out at freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash jobs. It's absolutely free. All right. So step number three is to find your niche. Now, finding your niche is a big step. It's an important step. And I've done a bunch of training on this. So I'm not going to do an enormous amount of training on this right now, but finding your niche. I'm a big believer in freight brokerage that riches are in niches. So rather than you just saying, hey, I'm going to move van freight or I'm just going to move flatbed freight, you really need to niche down. And what I mean by that is kind of like how I started. When I first started my business back in 2003, 2004, you know, we niched down where we were doing van freight only, but it was Northeast outbound. So if it originated in New York or PA or New Jersey, all the way up through New England, and it was going west or south, that was our niche. And the reason why I developed that niche is because number one, it was a lot easier to differentiate ourselves 
from the competition because we specialized in something, right? We were not a jack of all trades, master of none. We were an expert. We became experts in moving freight out of the Northeast. So that was one of the primary reasons. It also allowed us to truly understand the, the supply and demand of loads and trucks, which also dictate the rates of loads and trucks. And so that was a big part of our thought process and our strategy, and it paid off. We did a million dollars our first year. We did three million our second year. We did six million our third year and 12 and 18 and so on and so forth. And we continued to grow. And so finding your niche as a freight agent is very important. Number four, step number four is setting up your home office. Now, this is typically a pretty easy step. All you really need as a freight agent or as a freight broker is a desk, a chair, a computer, internet access, and a phone. You know, you probably want a printer, scanner, fax type of combination, although fax is really not used much very more. It's mainly print, scan type of uh, documents and in, in, uh, transfers. But ultimately, yeah, it's very, very simple. That gets you started, right? Many of you already have those things in your home. You can work off the kitchen table. You can work out of a small office. You can work out of your bedroom. You can work off the couch to get started. But ultimately, setting up your home office is typically pretty simple and pretty quick, okay? Step number five, leveraging freight broker technology. Now, once you become partnered with a freight broker, a licensed freight broker, which I talked about in step number two, you will start leveraging some technology, two primary technologies that you will start to leverage, two or three primary technologies you'll start to leverage. One is load boards. Load boards is number one. Load board is basically a, a hub where carriers and brokers come together to make a match and collaborate on moving freight. I'm not going to get into a deep dive, but load boards, some of the most popular ones out there are internet truck stop, DAT, as well as many others, all right? The second piece of software that you're going to start using is called a TMS, Transportation Management Software. That is where you manage all of your customer load data, including all the loads themselves, the pickup locations, the drop locations, invoicing comes from there, all of your check calls, everything from cradle to grave that has to do with managing that load is in that transportation management software. Again, these are those two things are typically part of the relationship you have with the broker. They will be established on the load boards. They will have their own TMS. They will give you access and typically train you on those if you're not already familiar with those. But those are a couple of the softwares. The other one you might want to consider, but is definitely not necessary to get started, is what's called a customer relationship management tool, a CRM. That's basically a repository for all of your sales data, all of your leads, all of your outbound calls, all of your emails, all of your prospecting, right? Predominantly, that has to do with prospecting and outreach and customer acquisition. So that's where you will carry all that information. And again, I don't want to go too far down the hole here, but ultimately, those are the three primary software, load boards, TMS, and CRM, okay? Step number six, optimize your LinkedIn profile. Now, number one, if you don't know what LinkedIn is, you got to crawl out from underneath the rock. It's 2023 here and very, very soon, if not already when you're watching this video. But ultimately, LinkedIn is the world's largest professional networking site. It's kind of like a social media site with a business community built in. The great part about LinkedIn, it's very easy to find, connect, and engage with shippers that are in your niche, okay? So LinkedIn, the first step, you got to go there and you got to set up a free account. It's absolutely free. You can set up a free account. The second step, if you've already got your account, you got to optimize your profile. Now, optimizing your profile is a whole training in of itself. But ultimately, you want to make sure the goal here is that it doesn't look like a resume. It doesn't look like a big sales pitch. But it obviously makes a good first impression and speaks directly to your target market. Okay? So ultimately, you need to optimize that profile including your header image, including your profile image, including your headline, including your work experience, adding some media. Think of it like a personal branding site, okay? That's really what it is. I've done entire trainings on that. You guys can check that out on my YouTube channel, which is leveraging you uh, LinkedIn to get customers. And I think I've talked a lot about the optimization process. Step number seven is start marketing and selling your business. Start selling your services, okay? Now, some people are adverse to cold calling. Some people uh, like to do face-to-face. -face. 
Some people prefer to use email. All of those different strategies work. But what I promote is a multi-channel outreach strategy, a multi-touch point cadence that goes across all those channels, phone, email, LinkedIn, face-to-face. If you do that, if you learn to leverage that type of strategy, you will significantly increase the number of contacts that you make, the number of opportunities that you have, and the number of customers that you get because now you're leveraging a multi-channel outreach strategy, okay? I teach that in depth in my Freight Broker Sales Accelerator program. Um, matter of fact, I, I can't get into a lot of detail about that right now, but the Freight Broker Sales Accelerator is a five-week coaching program where I take that piece of my brain and I implant it into your head and teach you exactly how to get shippers, right? My favorite sales strategies, tactics, tools, and my entire system. You can get on the wait list. That's sold out right now. You can't enroll right now, but you can get on the wait list. So the next time that I release it, you will have the ability, you'll get notified whenever I release it. It sells out very quickly every single time. So you can check that out again at freightburgerbootcamp.com forward slash wait list. All right. So that was step number seven. Let me review them really quick. Step number one, get trained. Step number two, Partner with an established licensed freight broker. The good thing as a freight agent, you don't need to get a bond. You don't need to be licensed, okay? Step number three, find your freight broker niche. Step number four, set up your freight broker home office. Step number five, start leveraging freight broker technology. Step number six, optimize your LinkedIn profile. And step number seven is start marketing and selling your business to start generating your first load, your first shipper, your first customer, your first profit, okay? So those are the seven steps. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Listen, if you're curious about becoming a freight broker or a freight agent, I've had this freight broker bootcamp online training for over a decade. I've trained over 10,000 students. Many of them have went on to build six and seven and even eight figure businesses, okay? It's well known to be the most comprehensive and cost-effective online freight broker training program. And we offer a 60-day, 100% unconditional money-back guarantee. If you're not happy for any reason, I can't make it any easier than that. Listen, I truly appreciate you being here. Make sure you like the feed. Make sure you subscribe wherever you're at, particularly if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the all notification bell so you'll get every free training video that I put out there. Again, appreciate you guys being here. Have an awesome day. I'll be back with another Freight Burger Bootcamp Live next Monday at noon, just like always.